So we've come to the point where Dead by Daylight has 40 maps in it, and I'm currently working on a massive tier list that will break them all down into detail and rank them from best to worst. While discussing this tier list on my livestream, many, many, many people were surprised that I placed the game as a map that leans towards killer-sidedness. They argue that this map is filled with tons of pallets, more than 20 of them, most of them being very safe and having very little counterplay, so can it really be considered one of the more killer-sided maps? In my opinion, yes, and to prove it, I decided to send myself to it several times. Now, playing with one of the stronger killers that ignores pallets would have been too easy, so I just stuck to playing killers that have to deal with pallets that are a little bit more average. In one of our games we played Trapper, we laid out one trap, Corolla Survivor into it, use Agitation to take into Basement, and this Basement is way, way more difficult to deal with than any of the shacks, since there's only two entrances to it, and you could trap them both. So, with the perks I had, I probably could have won the game right here if I decided to camp, but I didn't, I let them have a chance to escape, and it didn't matter, we still won. One funny chatter decided that this was not a good example, and he argued that if I play Clown, I would lose the next five games in a row. So I decided to play Clown using my normal build, and we killed them all at three gens. The next match, I switched to another one of my builds, not particularly made for this map at all, and we also beat the team relatively easily. And in fact, some of you might remember that back in the day, we did a challenge where we were not allowed to break any pallet with Clown in this map, and we still managed to beat a couple teams doing this. And the reason why we can do these things is because despite this map being very annoying to play as a killer and very difficult, it is even more difficult for survivors to play correctly. Whereas in other maps, survivors quickly find gens, quickly identify three gens, and quickly spread out to split the pressure. In this map, more often than not, they are very, very lost. And the most common slowdown perks that you see many killers bring most of the time are all particularly good in this map as well. Out of all the matches that we played for this little experiment, the most exciting one by far was this one that I played as Freddy. And now I'm gonna let you watch it. Should be ahead of them. You don't, dude, you're losing all the distance. Oof, what are we doing? Mm. Is he playing this well, chat? What do you think? Not really. Oof, oof, that was a... I could have maybe lunged to prevent it, actually. That was a great, great play by Adam. I would say necessary. But it's corrupt in an indoor map. I don't think you are making it. Wait. Did it not work? Okay, now I'll take it because I've got save. Is he even getting slowed down, chat? Presumably. Wow, well done! Two people came to take hits, and yet the fourth person was doing a gen from the beginning. That was really good. That was really good. Oh, high hopes for these guys. And they already have healed it up, despite not having maybe a ton of medkits. Good stuff, you guys. Nicely, nicely done. And they have... They have another chase coming that I think is going to be good for them. Alright, we get rid of some of these pallets. That's all. Oh, that's a hit, I think. I sh you shouldn't have dropped that. Not insane or anything, but... We make a bit of progress here. Oh, uh, Lady? What was your plan here? Now I'm starting to get so many stacks to save the best for last that... Taking hits is going to become... Less and less viable, I guess. This skill needs to... I don't think she makes that. Nice. Okay. This should give Freddy a unique chasing power. He already has two unique chasing powers. Oh. Well, not the most unique, to be fair. It's slow down and fake pallets. Two other killers do that, too. But still. It's not too bad. Oh, oh, Claudette. That was super risky, whatever you were doing there. Do you think she's 99 with self-care? I don't think so. I'll fake this, cancel. And we'll break up. I'm just gonna get rid of them. This is gonna be so fast. Wait. Yeah, well... 
just get rid of them, I guess. Uh, it's okay, it's sad. We keep getting rid of them. But uh, on this side, they don't have this power anymore. Oh, wait, they still do. We down the Leon throw it. True. Oopsie. Applied by her. Oh wait, dead heart? Do you think that's a problem now? No. Because we wait for it, I guess. Oh dear. Alright, good job by them. Very good job. What gen do we need to worry about soon? Hi Leo, you're fine for now. Welcome. Love to see you. I think I heard steps, but I'm not super sure. They're all healthy, so. Whoa! Ah! Ah! Whoa! What the hell? Who are you? Okay, now we're in the danger territory because this guy, if I catch him, he's on his second hook. This is the point where the game begins to slip away from them if they don't give me a really good chase. But maybe they will, chat. Uh, seems tricky. Hey, but I've been watching your YT biz for over a year. What's your opinion on Septic Touch? I never see anyone use it in their build. Hi, Dusty Warden. Normally, I would tell you to check the video explaining all the perks, but that one's not in there. Thank you so much for the twenty bucks. It is a perk that. It, there, there's just no killer where. Where it's it's better than any alternative. It's just a it's just a sad perk. It's just a sad perk. Any build that is anti-healing works better with other ones. Or sadly, it's a stealth killer, and now you know you can't really do much because uh, because it doesn't work because of the terror radius requirement. That's a free hit on Leon. I'm afraid. Just for the stacks and for the lack of. Yep. First hook on Adam though, which isn't bad. Uh, they don't both have it, right? We should be fine. Okay, no way out. Charged up. Hey yo. What's going on? We don't have a pallet here though. She's just. Nice one. Okay, she shouldn't leave this arena, basically. Good effort. Very nice deliverance on Adam, by the way. I would be worried right now if we didn't have two people that don't hook. But we have two people that don't hook. We can, we're still in the fight. We need to find Leon, ideally, and kill him. Nice that heart. Yeah, I know. She maybe thought I would have forgotten about it. But it's hard because everyone has it, so. Yeah. Wow, they are here. This is a shortcut. Yeah. Hello, Adam. We're gonna play a little game, you and I. Put a snare through the thing. Maybe that makes some panic. Come out this way and. Uh, that's good. That's good that we miss. I think you just that hard. That... Oh my god. He almost got me with the juke around the snowman. Okay, this is good. Any, we have three people that don't hook, but we need a kill. We need a kill. At this point, they're toying with me, not the other way around. But yeah, it's just a, it's just a sad perk. I, I don't think... Uh, like, that heart is annoying. Yeah, sure, this and that are annoying. Sure, sure. But there's no perk in the game. Like, that requires you... Like, you're never guaranteed to catch people healing. And when you do, there's no perk that saves them so consistently, you know? That you want to make them blind. And exhausted. But only within your terror radius. Because if they're in your terror radius, by definition, they know where you are. 
right? If it worked outside of your turret radius, then the perk would be better. Holy moly, dude, these guys are doing insane. This is an actually crazy, man. We, we we are the worst part of the game right now, which is... Okay, I need to tunnel someone. Now what? Oh, thank goodness. Okay, let's fake it. Yeah, yeah. T, three, four, five. Deadlock. Deadlock saving my ass right now. Oh, and no way out to. Uh, I need a hook here. Okay, she's dead. I think. Yeah, she is. Only person that's not dead is Michaela. Yeah, that lock saved our asses, like, super big time. Is this Michaela? No. Do I want him? He could have a dream. Uh, if I catch him? Yeah. If I don't catch him? No. Do I catch him? Uh, honestly? No. Nah, this loop's too big. This loop is literally too big. It's too- Oh! <gasps> That's an Adren on this guy. Yeah, that sucks. That sucks, but we have no way out. Maybe they don't take that into account. I think I even catch him here. Yeah, he knew. Okay. Ah! It's fine. It's fine, dude. It's fine. Shit. They did that. They played that insane, by the way. Oh my god, he's killing me. Okay. Save, 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 save. I avoided using Jolt or another perk that I knew would be a bit too good for this map. Oh. Thank goodness. Wow, well played, you guys. Well played. Oh, wait. Wait, not well played. This guy's dead. You need to hide. You're showing your location. If I catch you now, you're dead too. Do you, do you guys notice the dead hearts, the deliverances? Like, good stuff, man. Uh, I think it was a bad idea. This is a solid player, though. He tries some spins that make sense. Even if they don't work, they make sense. Alright. He might try to get... He dropped, did he? Nice. He might try to get Hajj. Uh... What a challenging match, dude. Ah, he's pretty good. Oh, we're not gonna catch him here. Uh... Wait here a second. Maybe he runs back? Yeah, that got him. Yeah, I just I just look forward to a day when it's not a show of skill that you can wait in front of a swabber for five seconds. That's insane. That's insane. Fuck it. If I see Hatch, you get it. Don't you get it. It's such a mental game. First time you press it, maybe that you test that the killer's not paying attention. Second time you wait it out a bit. And then the third, fourth, and 65th time you do what this Adam did, which is like, you know, go AFK, open the menu, uh, log into Windows uh, Messenger, and then press E. <laughs> So, chat, would you agree? These survivors, good survivors. I don't think anyone would say they're bad. I think they played pretty damn well. And I think their perks overall were pretty good. Couple medkits, couple flashies. If they had four medkits, we would have felt that. This killer, Freddy, not the best. And definitely on the game, not by any means like a strong killer. He doesn't, it's not like Nurse that can ignore pallets and doesn't mind the floors. It's a bad killer for the game. And still, and still, despite all the pilots, they had a hard time. Dude. Like... Like, think about it, like... Is this map super easy for killer? No. But at the same time, it's not like a cow shit where, on top of having difficult loops, it's a large map. It's a difficult start. They find gems right away. Oh, man.